the workshop is how to increase or improve students' listening skills. Say, Jimena, how do you improve your students' listening skills? Uh, them to listen uh, English uh, stories, English folk tales, uh, and I made them understand, and I asked them what they understand. And how do you uh, ask uh, them the new words? How do you... I write uh, unnecessary. No, I write the important words uh, on the blackboard, mm -hmm. and then I ask them uh, to learn them. And do you show the new words, or how with your uh, moving, or if it is a verb, I can't show them in my body. Uh, if it is a verb, I write, yeah, I only write them on the blackboard and recommend to learn these words. For example, verb, can you show them uh, movings? I, for example, go, you can go in the past, yes, and or speak, you can make like this. And please, uh, I would like to show you one video and I'd like that you looked at it very attentively, be very attentively, please. Uh, just look, watch. The Little Pianist by Bridge Kotari. There was once a little boy named Azul. He loved to play the piano and dreamed Azul heard the flutter of wings. A butterfly sat on his shoulder and started to hum a tune. His fingers began to move by themselves. His heart made the butterfly song. Now, do you like it? Interesting. Nice. Make it. Is it interesting? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, I'll give you the worksheet and now the first task true or false? True, düzdür, düzdür, yani yalan. Please, the boy's name, the boy's name the boy's was Azul. Because I can read the second exercise. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, now please, Sevin Chimalima, read the first sentence, please. True or false? This is the first exercise. Please listen. Yes. First exercise. Uh huh. The boy's name was not Azul. Of course, it is false. False, right. He loved to play the piano, yes, uh, true, he loved uh, to play the piano. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Next, please, can you read the third sentence? Thank you for your attention.